Hi everyone, it's James Odies Fraser here, aka Rich Little Poor Girl, and in today's video I wanted to do a bar cart tour with you. I'm obsessed with my bar cart, I think it's really cool, I think it's a really great piece of decor in terms of just bringing some life to a space, and I want to talk with you why that is, and just like a couple of fun little things that I've got on there. It's going to be a quick video because I have to leave in like five minutes, um, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and pull things out and talk you through them. So first of all, the bar cart itself, I guess I should talk about, is this beautiful gold bar cart. Funny story about this, I had this on my watch list on like Pinterest and I mentioned ShopTagger quite a lot. It's this site where you like pin things from shops and you save them all to this board and then when they go on sale you get a notification. So I'll link, um, if I can link my ShopTagger so you can see it, I'll link it below. Otherwise, everything that's on my ShopTagger is on a Pinterest board called Add to Basket. So I'll link that so you can see like what I've got my eye on. But I had the, the, um, like all different gold bar, bar carts on there for ages, including this particular one, which is from Wayfair. I really love Wayfair for affordable, but really chic looking furniture. They've got really high end stuff on there and some kind of lesser known brands that look really chic. And I had this on there for ages and then my, I must have talked to my boyfriend about it because I ended up with it at Christmas and I knew that I had it because um, he didn't realise that I would be in when it arrived and so I had to sign for it, which was fine, like he kind of knew that was going to happen, what he didn't realise was the box would have a massive picture of the bar cart on the outside of it, so it was not a surprise, but it was good because it turned out I did see on the box that it said silver and I wanted gold, I'm a gold accessories girl as you can probably tell. Um, so I very politely informed him that it was really kind of him to get it and thank you, but could we maybe swap it for gold, which we did. We had to wait for it to come in stock for a couple of weeks, but I got it in the end. And I just think that in especially in like a one bedroom London flat, it really adds a bit of class, a bit of sophistication and it kind of adds some character to the room. Now I've got a kitchen dining room, so that ends the kitchen, here's like the living room dining at the end of the table so all of my entertaining and living happens in one space and so it's nice to use furniture to kind of set the tone of certain areas in the kitchen I've got lots of homey goods in there and tea towels and pasta jars and things set up to make it look really I mean you know it's a kitchen but you want each pocket to feel special and in my living room I've got lots of gold accessories and cushions and things throughout and also I want to set the tone it's not just a, a space to cook in or to relax in but it's a space to entertain and have fun and so when friends come over and there's a full bar cart stock with champagne and cocktail mixers and everything I think it really sets the tone so some of the things that I've added to my bar cart to do that so I guess first I'll talk bottles as there are quite a few on there there's quite a lot of champagne on there now I tend to save champagne and save it for like special occasions but I'm in my like 20s I don't have that many special occasions I don't have I'm not getting married I don't have kids that are like graduating or you know there haven't been that many moments when I felt like popping champagne yet I'm still very much in my climbing stage of my life in terms of success so for ages I had bottles just stored away in a cupboard and that was so boring. So when I got the bar cart, I was like, no, I'm gonna start using them all as decor. I think that they look so beautiful from the kind of classic bottles to the moe and the pink, which really goes with the theme of my bar cart at the moment. I think they add a touch of class and bougie and a little pretension never hurt anyone. As long as you recognize it doesn't really mean anything and it doesn't make you better than anyone else. I'm fully aware that the ones that aren't boxed, for instance, the bottle of crystal back there is probably corking or going bad in the daylight that's something when you see people with like champagne cellars are often very dark and hidden away from sunlight because sunlight can stream through the bottles and change the flavor of the liquid however i am not really even a champagne drinker some of these bottles were gifted to me most of them were gifted to me actually and like i said i've just saved them for special occasions and they weren't getting used and enjoyed in the cupboard um, and I get much more enjoyment from them on my bar cart than I would just keeping them in a cupboard for years and then drinking them anyway. I prefer Prosecco, like a lot of people, um, when it comes to actually drinking. So even if it turns out these were all like awful in 10 years, I wouldn't mind because I'll have had 10 years of decor enjoyment from them. I love the Cristal bottle. It's kind of obnoxious, but I just don't care because it's so pretty. I love that it's gold, you can see the liquid, and it really, not only is it kind of fun because it's an expensive champagne, it adds a bit of luxe to the, the bar and therefore the room and my house, my flat. It also, it's just so pretty to look at. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have drank um, Crystal before I opened it at my 21st birthday party. And to be honest, the last time I served Crystal, at a birthday party, I feel like everyone 
was like like didn't even notice that it was different to any other champagne so it's def for me it's definitely better with the decor i'll show you my favorite glasses which glass you may notice it in the cutaways there are two of these there are now one because it accidentally got smashed i did get replacement so i'll show you that but unfortunately they're no longer in stock but they're like these really cool confetti print martini glasses which were from Debenhams and I got them in the sale and I like to have fun little accessories in my bar cart just to add even though there's like champagne and stuff on there it's a fun space if you're around to have drinks we're gonna enjoy ourselves we're gonna have cocktails and let loose so um little things like umbrellas I took the packet and only took the gold ones out I'm very intense when it comes to matching syrups are such an essential part of a bar cart I believe and so fun as well. If you are into cocktails or you ever have people over who like cocktails, I definitely recommend investing in some syrups. You don't necessarily have to get huge bottles like this one. I don't think this one was too expensive. Four ninety nine. Price tag still on it. So there you go. Four pounds ninety nine for this whole bottle of syrup, which is going to last me, frankly, probably years. Um, I got this from uh, TK Maxx again. Uh, the kind of foodie section that they have near the till in my TK Maxx. But um. This is the Monin brand, which I know is a really good quality brand of syrups because I'm actually a trained barista. When I was at school, I used to work in a coffee shop and um, they used this brand, like one of the main coffee stores. Um, and so I also get these syrups for my coffees. You can get them in the supermarket in small bottles, kind of just under this size. And you can get like caramel flavor and cinnamon and all that good stuff. But I learned in TK Maxx, you can get the huge bottles. This one is triple sec which is kind of orange flavour. It's normally a liqueur, but this is triple sec flavoured syrup and it's used in a lot of cocktails like Cosmopolitans and Margaritas and Long Island iced teas, none of which I drink, but I'm a very good host and so I like to cater for the people that like to come round. Um, I actually haven't used it too much, as you can see, but I, I try to keep my bar cart stocked with essentials first. So when you're going for like spirits, I would go for gin. That's a bit of a crowd pleaser at the moment. And then what else would I go for? My friends don't really drink dark spirits, so I would go for gin and vodka, um, personally. It depends on the taste of, of who tends to drink. And then obviously I've got my fizzy on there because I like Prosecco. Um, so I would top it up with that. Wine and Prosecco and stuff I kind of do as and when. And then syrups, I would go for the main syrups of the drinks that your friends like. So if they're into like passion fruit, mart uh, passion fruit martini? Porn style martinis, they are kind of a thing right now. Then passion fruit syrup might be something you want to look into. I have peach because I love a Bellini and that has been used. We got through this at New Year's actually. Um, this with the Prosecco makes a beautiful Bellini. And it's nice in some other cocktails as well. This was from Tesco in the drinks section where you've got all of the alcohol and the spirits. You'll find bottles of all different types of syrups from like espresso for espresso martinis to, yeah, kind of sweet ones, chocolate you can get. So have a play, $4.99. This one was probably about the same price, so it's not too expensive. And every couple of weeks, just add one to the food shop and before you know it, you'll have built up your collection. Got fun things like these cardboard party straws in here. I think I picked these up from Sainsbury's in the like picnic section, but you can get them online. If I can find some, I will link them. This glass is one of the replacement glasses that I got for the smashed martini glass. And I love it because it's got gold on the bottom and a gold tip. It's just very me. Quite classy, quite dainty. The, the little finger pops when I go to drink out of this one. And I got this from TK Maxx. I absolutely love TK Maxx for homeware. They were so inexpensive. And I'm not actually sure what it's technically for. I use it for Prosecco because it's long and flute-like. I also think that it's quite nice to drink beer out of it because it's kind of that same shape but more narrow. If anyone knows what it's actually supposed to be used for etiquette-wise, do leave a comment below and let me know, but I just kind of think anything goes. I've got a nice big gin balloon on here which has watermarks and needs dusting, so don't mind that. I was like, I've got time to film a video or I've got time to dust and polish the bar cart and I was like I can't do both so I'm just going to film um, so excuse the watermarks but this was also from TK Maxx and I love the big chunky stem on that I'm not a gin drinker I'm not a fan I'm a rum girl rum and prosecco 
This glass you can't see, but it's actually kind of iridescent. It has like purpley, greeny, blue tints to it. This was a Christmas gift from my sister, along with lots of other beautiful things you might have seen on Instagram. Um, I'm not sure where she got it from. I have seen a similar colored glass from TK Maxx. And do you know what? I have so many glasses that my boyfriend was like, you can't buy any more. You just can't, <laughs> there's no space. So when she got this for me, I was really pleased because I've had my eye on it in TK Maxx homeware section. But um, absolutely beautiful. It's also kind of like, not pleated but like wavy effect textured and then um she also got me these sweets i think it was no did i just steal i think i stole these from my mum at christmas she had them around no one was really eating them i don't even know what they are i think they're fudges but it's just nice to have like mints and sweets and things to offer guests and they're gold and they match the bark up I've got some flowers on there just to add to the kind of homeware decoriness, add a bit of softness and they just match quite frankly. I did have red ones on there before. I tend to switch out the theme but at the minute it's very much pink and gold. Flowers are from my online store, I arranged them. They're these like really long lasting preserved roses so they stay soft and they stay like, they feel like freshly cut roses but they've actually been um, cut and preserved with a serum so that they stay really soft for like years i've had them for over a year now and they're still really soft and pretty and like i said i sell them so i'll link the shop below but i think they make lovely decor these stirrers as well are really nice for muddling drinks i think that i might have got these from a supermarket i find that the supermarket seasonal section which is like the aisle that tends to change so right now they'd have a lot of easter stuff in it um in the summer they got a lot of picnic stuff i find that those are really good for finding really cool little homeware type things that maybe the supermarket can't be bothered to carry all the time but every now and then they get the minutes where i got the cool straws from as well um yeah and i you can often get really good offers on those things because they're kind of people are in the mood to buy them and then they're not so they tend to if you're lucky you can get them reduced but you don't want to forget stirrers because people will want to mix their drinks there's nothing worse than a drink you put the straw in it and it's just pure alcohol because the alcohol is all at the bottom and, and the mix is all at the top. My knees were hurting too much so I had to get a bean bag. So if I'm suddenly out of focus or I've moved, I'm really sorry. Um, right, also I was talking about syrups. I think that other little things, I'm actually gonna link to a blog post that I've done before because I don't want this video to be too long and it's all about the BYOB bar guide. BYOB meaning bring your own booze. A lot of my friends, when we have parties, when we have people around for drinks, you just have people around for drinks. When you have parties with a lot of people, we tend to, everyone just tends to bring a bottle, that way the host doesn't have to spend like hundreds of pounds on drink, and when people are there to drink, you can get through quite a lot. Um, so I think bring your own booze parties are quite fun. And as the host of one of those events, I have kind of written a guide on just essentials that you want to have out for everyone to make sure that they have the best possible time in terms of your bar. You're not necessarily providing the alcohol. So if you imagine everyone brings wine, Prosecco, beer, and some spirits, it's everything else you want to provide, like stirrers and straws and all the other fun things, as well as fruit, something that I like to provide, like chopped up fruit, lime wedges, lemon wedges, maybe even berries for people to make gins and that kind of thing that you might not have thought of. Dried fruit is a really fun thing that I want to add to my bar cart. So I think I'm going to do an updated one of these probably just before Christmas because I feel like everyone loves a bar at Christmas. Um, but I want to get like a nice mason jar or kilner jar full of like dried onion. Uh, onion? What am I saying? You could, People put onions in, um, is it martinis they put onions in? Onions and olives. Not for me. I want to get a jar of dried orange slices because I think that will just taste really nice to kind of infuse drinks and I want to play around with yeah different dried fruits that also look really pretty on there but I'll link to that blog post on my blog richlittlepoorgirl.co.uk so you can get some ideas for your bar. After I got the paper straws I then found these really cool gold straws, actually it's missing one this packet because it's in my coffee over there. Um, but I've got these gold, cool gold metal, as you can hear, straws from Sainsbury's. Again, I'm telling you, the supermarket is a great place for these type of accessories. Great because they're gold, I love gold, obviously the theme is gold, and also more so because they are more eco-friendly. Now, I, when I have people over, they don't really use a straw that often. You get a lot of, like I said, Prosecco drinkers, beer drinkers, and even the cocktails, people don't use straws. They're more there just for decor, so it's not like I'm going through them loads and ruining the planet. However, I do like the idea of having these because they're more eco-friendly and they're reusable, more cost-effective, and they just look so pretty. And they're, yeah, I like the shape of them as well. I think they're quite cool. Look quite bougie to drink out of. 
These are about seven pounds from Sainsbury's Home Sec. I just, I saw them on the end of an aisle randomly one day when I was buying like kitchen roll or something. Recommend. So that was a little insight into my bar cart. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it interesting and got some inspiration for, maybe not even a bar cart. Like I said, this one, I don't know if I did say, but this one was 90 pounds. But even if you don't want to invest in that right now, just a little corner, a little side table, a little corner in your kitchen where you can have a little bit of a party set up and just, even if it's just for you on a Friday night with a glass of wine, just get a couple of beautiful glasses that you really enjoy, a six pound bottle of wine, but have it displayed and just enjoy it. I think that these things don't need to be hidden away in cupboards and it also gives us more storage space, especially, like I said, in a small flat like mine. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know if you have any bar cart ideas or drink setup ideas and I will be back on Tuesday with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.